Greetings. Oh, hello there. My name is Nightshade of the band Blood of the Beloved. This is Skeptic of Blood of the Beloved, and you're watching a local the band Smoke Out. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dazzle! Yeah, hell yeah! Yes! We got it. We got all the technical kinks worked out. Hell yeah. Thank you so Yay. much for joining. Marlene, do me a favor. Please properly introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug and promote anything and everything. Yeah. Um, so I'm Marlene Mendoza. Um, and yeah, I am. Hello. <laughs> um, as you can see, there's my Spotify. I have a YouTube channel. Um, uh, just type in my name, literally Marlene Mendoza. Um, it's all in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You're you're out of yeah. New York too, correct? Uh, yeah. So I'm from New York, but now I, I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, So which is crazy. Why'd you move there? Out of curiosity. Oh, well, it's cheaper. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's true. This is true. <laughs> well, I want to start with this. Uh, again, thank you for joining. How was the tour that you recently just finished? It was good. It was good. It was uh, it was a lot of fun, um, like meeting new people and like just touring. I love touring, and it was it was great. It was a good time. Is there any? Is there any? Can you give me like a something went wrong at this show? Because something always goes wrong on tour. But but you prevailed somehow. Maybe we can learn some advice. And or this was the best show in this city, and this is why. Well, okay. Technically, uh, so the last show, um, my uh, like when we were setting up for uh, to play, my so we use a rack to like um, you know with everything like our equipment, our in ears, and one of the antennas broke for the in ears, so the in ears just stopped working at all. <laughs> like we couldn't hear shit. Oh man, that's um, um, but only so for you or for everybody? We were just like. Uh, Everybody, Ooh. the whole band, like we couldn't hear. Does that everybody. include like the click the track too, for for drums? Yes, and oh, like no. the drums, everything. Like I, I, like we couldn't hear shit. So we were like, oh, okay, I guess, all right, whatever. <laughs> but good thing that if you are still a good musician, you'll still <laughs> know to be in sync with each other. So it still went out well. Um, it was a, a good time. Everyone had a good time. So, <laughs> but awesome. if like if you can't play at all, like that would be like a disaster. But we were just like, oh, okay, whatever. Just psh, I threw it. I was like, whatever, and then just like kept playing. <laughs> and then which one was the best show in, in what city? Um, when I played in New York, um, just playing in like my hometown and like seeing um friends and. Family, that that was a really good one. Um, just because I was just seeing familiar faces, and it, it was a good time. I followed you on Twitter today, and it looked like you're retweeting. Are you you were in multiple projects? I was, yeah. But not anymore, because I I don't recall the name. But I want to say it was like like a code it was like the name of the band, like X F something something. Does that sound familiar? I don't recall. <laughs> but it was like it was no, like uh. Um like cgi video like computer graphics or something uh, oh oh no that yeah that was um a feature um i was featured in that so yeah that was um a band i uh, wanted me to feature in that song so i did that let's say let's say someone's watching and they they really because we played uh insanity right before you hopped on let's say they really enjoy what you do how would you prefer someone reach out to set up a feature oh I'll just, just, if you want a feature, just literally email me, <laughs> email, um, just literally straight up, just contact me. Um, also like I'm on, um, I forgot the website, but it's like a featured, uh, website as well. If you want to have me featured on any project, um, but straight up, just messaging me, email me, just be like, Hey, let's collab. Sure. <laughs> I'm yeah. always down. So very cool. Uh, do you have any interesting vocal tricks that you do before a show and after the show to cool your voice down for the next night? Um, I mean, what I do is, um, 
so I have this like steamer thing, um, where it literally looks like like um yeah like an asthma kind of I know what thing. You're about. And I yeah, so I steam my voice just to, like warm it up a little bit like before I um uh, like play and, and um perform live just to get that um opened up, um and then just like warm up my voice with you know like just I'll get like a a recording of something and just kind of like do some um warm up exercises um so i do that before the show and um if like for any reason my voice or like my throat um feels like scratchy or anything like that i use like this like throat spray that has like honey and lemon um so i use that um and it works wonders <laughs> like it's like an automatic woo. instant so instant like, fix is it vocal mist that you're talking about uh no, it's kind of like it. Uh, but yes, it, it it's pretty much like the vocal miss. Yeah. Okay. Do, were you able to bring hot sauce for the trivia portion? Okay, so I have, <laughs> I have chipotle barbecue Excellent. powder, fire roasted pepper from Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> okay. So, cause I don't have hot sauce, I really actually do not like hot sauce. So this, I don't like anything so hot, just, so this will be interesting. So, so if I stump you, you're just going to do like a little tap, tap, tap? I might, I might do like a... Okay, okay. That'll, <laughs> that'll work. Whether or not you get it right or wrong, I'm going to do the ghost pepper blueberry Ooh. hot sauce. Whether or not you get Ooh, it right or wrong. I've asked you something. Here's okay. the cool thing. You get to pick the trivia topic. I need to know what movie or TV show, one or the other, that you've seen more than anything. Or if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, how could I stump you? Because it's your favorite. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, okay. Well. Do you have a favorite genre? Like horror or comedy? I, I was going to say horror. Like mystery horror. Uh, I was going to say like top of my head, like The Shining or something like that. Like I watch a lot of... Um, horror movies um so maybe that the shining works i mean tv shows is a the tv shows a, is a lot harder a i lot. think because there's a lot of episodes so it's easier if you pick yeah. like a, a movie so i think you're on the right track there uh i'm gonna look okay. up some shining trivia but while i do i want to know who because you also play guitar correct yes who made you want to pick up a guitar when you were younger and then simultaneously a microphone like what artist oh, that inspired you to to pursue music as a career? Um, oh man, that's a that's a tough question because I feel like there's more than one. Um, but like when I started playing like guitar, I started like learning like Avenged Sevenfold songs. <laughs> so I I would say that would be my start. Like I guess um, just like learning from. Um, so maybe like Avenged Sevenfold, and then in terms of like singing and vocals um i mean it's all over the place because <laughs> uh, i don't know that's a hard tough question I'm not sure i feel like events of old is a is a pretty good answer though yeah yeah and and to just like pick up the guitar and start with crazy riffs like that like from gates that's just got to be like going from zero to like level 10 on on the toughness scale oh but yeah for sure <laughs> that is awesome hell yeah uh okay Let's see if I can stump you on the first Shining trivia. Here we go. There's a scene in the movie where Wendy is preparing breakfast for Jack. Can you tell me what food she prepared for him? There's no multiple choice. <laughs> no, um, oh, gosh. Was it eggs? Do you, can you say, do you remember how they were prepared? Like scrambled? Oh no no! Uh, is it was sunny side up? No, I don't know. That is correct. Give me a hell yeah! Ah! Well done. Sunny side up eggs, prepared by Wendy for Jack for breakfast time. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh be tortured here a little bit because I wasn't able to stump you. I'm gonna look up a different question. But uh, there's a chat question coming in. It says, please ask Marlene what her most surprising reaction video was about. Oh, like my um, which I, reaction video? Like which um, m uh, music got me like? Um, I would say, hmm. Oh, that's a hard one. Um, 
Sleep Token. Because I really haven't like listened to Sleep Token, and I really liked, I really liked them. That surprised me. Um, so I would say Sleep Token. Do you yeah. ever, as someone that does a lot of reactions too, are you ever surprised where some get like a couple hundred views, and then one that you just did not expect, just bam, twenty, thirty thousand views? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like. It's really weird. I like it's I like I have some that are like a hundred K and I'm just like, how okay, I guess. Um and it, yeah, it's 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 really weird. And I, I sometimes I don't even look at the views. I just be like, Okay, I guess. Um and then I look back like maybe a couple of days later I was like, Whoa, what happened? Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's a lot. <laughs> someone there's no like we just know this one's gonna work. You just you just take a chance and hope for the best sometimes on those. If if somebody's watching that sees someone like me or you that does reactions can you explain how you got started and uh any advice you would recommend for someone that's interested in being on youtube yeah um well i i wanted to make like some youtube videos i just didn't know like exactly what so like i was just like making um different types of content on youtube and and somebody re recommend or suggested that I should do um, reaction videos. They're like, oh, my gosh, I think you would do great. Or like, and I was like, OK, I will see like what what it is. And I also wanted to like show people um, like pretty much different types of music and um, like really get into um, like how just awesome music is and and um like oh okay the the guitars are great this and that and like i just wanted to like really get into that um like kind of educational aspect but not go into it deeply because if i do get into it super deeply then it's gonna take an hour <laughs> to, and then and then that's gonna be too much um so uh, you know just getting a sweet spot and um i so I just like kept going and and I was consistent. I've been consistent with it. And um, I would say that's one one of my advice is, uh, is actually just be consistent with it. Um, just just try it. Just do it. I think just doing is the best advice. <laughs> Don't think too hard. Just do it. You got to get it wrong a bunch of times to figure out how to get it right is would be like my oh, yeah. one sentence advice. <laughs> it took me like 2000 YouTube uploads to be like, Oh, mm -hmm. put hashtags <laughs> or or like all kinds of other things or something. Something. Yeah, sometimes like my audio will be off or like my video, my audio is like totally terrible. Like I just be like whatever. Like some t or you know, but some people don't me maybe not realize it. But um, yeah, yeah. Like it just takes many tries. It it does not have to be perfect. I got to ask you. I got to let you pick the trivia. You selected The Shining. I think this is a rather hard question. This is the final trivia question. In the Overlook Hotel, there is a main chef, and he's an important character. What is the full name of the main chef? I'll give you a hint. He has the psychic ability, The Shining, and he communicates with Danny at a point in the movie. Do you know his name? Jesus. <laughs> That's a hard one. Yeah, I told you it was going to be a hard one. <laughs> what is it? Like, do I have to, like, give you the whole, like, his birth name? I don't know. Uh, um, Let's see. Jesus. Oh. Do you have a random guess, maybe? <laughs> he, okay. I'll give you a small hint. He warns Danny okay. about the dangers of the of the hotel and its haunted past. Despite his efforts to help the Torrance family, he meets a tragic end by the hands of Jack. Danny Phantom. I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy the <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings rub. <laughs> it is okay. Dick Halloran. Yeah, just... Dick Halloran. I don't Dick, know. What? <laughs> I, I guess at the end of the movie he's killed by Jack also but I told you it was going to be tough but it has to be tough because he got the first one but uh, is there is, is is there okay. anything uh, that that freaks you out I like to ask this question to guests is there any, like I mean like phobias or like some people are afraid of heights spiders do you have any interesting phobias um, before I do 
do I have to take a? Yeah, you gotta do that and then uh, answer it. Oh, okay, okay. Not good. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was this? What makes this? What makes it fun? What scares you? <laughs> Oh, it's good. Um, um, uh, let's see. Mm, I guess uh, flying cockroaches scare me. What about like beetles, like flying beetles too? Yeah. Okay. All of that. Fair enough. It's <laughs> not so bad. Uh, is, there, is there a particular person or artist, let's say hypothetically... You have a, a coupon that entitles you to one free feature for any artist in the entire world. This they're gonna they're gonna do it for free. Jump on a Marlene Mendoza song. What artist would you pick and why? Um, it would be um, hmm, any genre. Sure, it's, I've had people answer, and it's not even a vocalist. Oh, that's a good okay. Well, I mean, if it's someone like currently, oh, uh, I would like uh, Noah from Bad Omens. That would be awesome. Or like Ronnie Racky would be great. Um, I think those two would be awesome. Is there is yeah. there a genre of music that you want to want to dabble in? It's just not time yet. Like eventually you want to do an EDM song or you want to rap on something or anything that you want to experiment with for a future single um i mean not not really i feel like um like when i make music like i guess whatever comes comes um so like one time i made like this like classical like guitar thing and and one time i made like this latin thing like it just depends on like my like mood and stuff so like i don't know um but i like the music that i'm making so i like to we keep like it, it that way <laughs> we like it too that's why we invited you here we think it's awesome uh we've got just a, a couple more questions to ask and then we'll let you go and again thank you for your time uh what what are we allowed to look forward to in 2024 i know sometimes some of these things can't be revealed but is there anything you are, you can tell us that we can look forward to um i guess more shows uh, um more music um and that's pretty much it <laughs> that I can say. Oh, um, I think I can say this. Um, I'm I might be on a TV show next year, maybe. Speaking of TV shows, you knew I was going to ask this. What was it like singing in front of Katy Perry and Lionel Richie and Luke? It was awesome. <laughs> It was awesome. It was a, a really good experience. It was awesome. It it was um I didn't expect to to be there, but it was great. <laughs> I know that the the TV footage probably doesn't do it justice in like the actual experience, but is there some stuff that we didn't see that you can tell us? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like um I I did two songs. Um I sang two songs and I did one where I was um singing and playing the piano. Um so that wasn't showed. Um, and I did, I did sing <laughs> instead of just screaming. Um, but I just want to showcase a lot, um, different things from me. Um, um, yeah, no. And then they asked uh, a lot of different questions about me and all that stuff. And, um, it was really nice talking to them before, like I actually like auditioned. So it was really cool. Hell yeah. When when do you anticipate us being able to know what TV show you're going to be on next year? I, I guess it's obviously um, they have to announce it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, I guess you'll find out next year. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, Marlene, this was a lot of fun. I appreciate you being a good sport and bringing uh, – some some dry rub, which is a first for me, but it totally works. <laughs> and it was fun chatting with you and uh, talking about your music and, and how you became an artist yourself. But we wish you nothing but the best. Please return in, I don't know, eight or nine months from now, if it's okay with you. We can update about new tunes, talk about the show, 
and just promote you any way we can. Absolutely. Absolutely. This was super fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I'm going to put this on YouTube tomorrow. I'll send you a link uh, just so you have it. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, Marlene yeah, Mendoza! Yeah, hell yeah. Have a great day. Thank you so much. <laughs> you too. Bye, everyone. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band Smokeout.